Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own Discord bot in Python. So, first you want to go to discord.com slash developers slash applications, and then you want to click on new application, and then you want to give your application a name. I'll just give mine, um, Python bot, okay? And then you'll click on create, and it'll bring you up to here. And then you'll click on bot, okay? And then you, it'll come with build a bot, and you want to press add bot and say yes to it, okay? And then next, you want to click on copy on your token, okay? Make sure not to tell anyone about your token, or tell any um don't just just don't tell anyone about your token. You want to keep it private, and then you'll disable public bot if you want. It only in your servers, and then you want to enable presence intent, server members intent, and message content intent. Okay, and then you'll press save changes. Okay, then next you want to make in your text editor IDE whatever I use VS Code. You want to make a new project and name it whatever you want. I name mine Discord bot, and then make a new file name it main.py. Okay, so next you want to do import and since discord.py is now discontinued and not maintained anymore I'm going to use nextcord since I use that for my python bots um, and you also want to do um, import you know, from nextcord.ext import commands Okay, so next you'll do bot equals commands dot bot, and then in here you want to do command prefix. I'm going to use question mark. Um, you can use exclamation mark. You can use a period. You can use colon, semicolon. All of that should work. And then you want to do comma intents equal next. Cord. dot intents dot all. Okay, and then now, normally what I do for every Python bot I make for Discord, I always remove the the default help command because I just don't like it. Now I'm just going to do bot remove command, and you just want to make a string and call it help. Okay. Okay, then now you'll do at bot dot event and do a def on underscore ready. And now you just want to print your bot is online or whatever you want to do there. So every time you start the bot up and every time it's online, it will say whatever you put in here, so I put mine, your bot's online, so it will just say my bot's online, or your whatever, um, okay, um, so for the first tutorial I'm just going to be teaching you how to make, um, a ping command, um, very simple, everyone does it, so, um, I'll do the same, um, okay, so next you want to do at bot dot command and then you want to do sync def pin and then in here you want to do ctx okay and then now you want to do await ctx dot send and then in here you want to do f and then you want to do your um quotation marks that's what they're called yeah and you do pong And then slash n so it puts it into a new line below it. Um, and you should do ping, and then you'll do parentheses, and then you'll do round, and then in here you'll do bot dot latency times a thousand. Okay, make sure you do a thousand, and you want to do ms for milliseconds. And now you want to do at the bottom bot dot run and then in here you're going to do quotation marks 
and then you want to do your token okay so that's all you need to do just to make your bot online and get the ping from the bot servers okay and now you want to save it control s and then now for mine i just run the bot by clicking this play button up here and it'll start the bot and then when it's online it should say your bot is online okay and then now obviously my bot is not in the server so now you have to invite the bot to the server and by doing that go back to here go back to your um, discord.com slash developer slash applications and then you should you might be here or you could be in the bot application itself you will click o auth 2 okay um, and you want to click URL, gen URL generator and you'll press bot okay and then you can press um, any of the permissions your bots need I'm just going to do administrator and you want to copy it open a new tab and paste it in and press enter and it will ask you to select a server and I'm going to do my bot testing server bot testing continue and it will ask you do you want to use these permissions for your bot Authorize and then you want to do you want to verify that you're a bot. I mean you're a human and It will say authorize you can now close this tab And then now if you come here, it will say hey look my bots now on my bots now on the server And so now if I do question mark ping You can see now I have now gotten the Ping for the bot Simple as that. And then if you ever want to turn off your bot, um, well for VS Code, you can just press Control C in the terminal and it'll put it offline as you can see. And if you try to do it again, it obviously won't work. Um, it, there might be just like a stop button for most IDEs, text editors, okay. Um, so now you want to, well that's pretty much it. Um, so. In the next couple of tutorials, I'll be doing more commands um, and like cogs, etc. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I have many other videos coming up, so make sure to like and subscribe to get notified when those videos get posted.